So at this point in 2023, is the Nintendo Switch something you should actually be spending your money on? We have done a video on this exact subject on this channel once before this year, twice last year, and the reason we use so many videos on it is because the answer to the question is always changing. But in this video, we're gonna talk about it. We're at the end of 2023 right now when I'm recording this video. It's right before Christmas. A lot of you are probably looking at one to get for yourself or maybe your kids or somebody in your life that has said they might want a Nintendo Switch. But we're gonna look at it. We're gonna look at the other options that are out there right now and when when we could potentially be getting the new Switch or whatever might be replacing this. What's up guys, welcome back or welcome in for the first time. Do me a favor, jump down in the description of this video. There's a link to our podcast YouTube channel over there. We do a podcast every Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. If you miss it there, you can catch it on the podcast platform of your choice. Make sure you subscribe to that on your way back up. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel because a lot of people think they are and they're actually not. Let's talk about the Nintendo Switch. It's $350 for the OLED version. Is that something you should be spending your money on right now? in 2023, maybe for a Christmas gift, maybe you're watching this after Christmas. You wanna get one, you got a little extra cash. I wanna tell you about a few things you probably need to know about this. The one big thing, and the reason we do this video so many times on this channel, especially more recently, is because the Switch is about to be seven years old. This thing has been out for a long time. They are due to put something new out, and all the rumors are saying that halfway through next year, we will at least hear about the new Nintendo Switch, if it isn't already out halfway through next year. So that does raise the question, should you spend $350 on an OLED Switch? And uh, there, there's a few there's a few different things I think you really need to think about with all of this. One, what kind of games do you like to play? I think that's a big thing. What kind of games do the people you're trying to buy this thing for like to play? Two, what is your budget? And three, are you gonna be okay with having an old Switch, if the new one comes out or is announced, say, in, I don't know, March, April, maybe a little bit later, that is only, at this point at the recording of this video, about three or four months away. So those are the things you wanna consider, the stuff we're gonna go over here. The first part of that, I, I wanna go over what kind of games whoever you're buying this for or you like to play. Because in my opinion, at this point in the Switch's life, unless you are buying this specifically to play the Nintendo games, that are on Switch. We're talking the Zeldas, the Marios, Donkey Kong, Pokemon, Fire Emblem, you know, any of those games that are exclusive to Nintendo Switch platforms, if those are the games you want to play, then yes, I think I think this is still something you need to be looking at. If that's the, the purpose of all this, then yes, a Switch is where you want to be, for sure. Just another really quick thing I forgot to mention is uh, Nintendo's library of games at this point for the Switch it's basically done. So you can take a look at that and the few things that they have coming out. We have a new Peach game, the rest of the stuff's basically remakes, but you can look at the entire Switch library. That is what it, it is, that's, it, that's what it's gonna be. So I don't know whether that would help you go towards a Switch or away from one, but you know, you'll have the library. You know what's gonna be you know, available for the Switch. We're gonna stick with that for just a minute here. If you're that person, then you have to start looking at your price range. Now we have the OLED, which is $350. They have a light that is $200. And then they have the regular Switch, which I've seen now some places it's normally 300, but I've seen it at, at 279. So you can get deals on older Switches and it might be something you wanna think about. Maybe getting a light or getting something isn't $350, maybe the cheapest version, because again, there could be a new one coming out next year. And if you're into, you know, Nintendo stuff and you really want to play these games, you might end up wanting to trade this in or get the new one later. So maybe putting the least amount of money possible in it is the best way to go. And you can always find these things used as well. Facebook Marketplace is a good place to go. You can find people local, have them, you can go, you know, meet them, test it, make sure it's all good. Something to do if you are doing that is make sure you go into the menu and go down and test the sticks to make sure they don't have drift. Uh, that is something I could probably make a video on. Maybe I'll make a short on that, but that is something you need to do. You definitely need to check the sticks because they do get drift. So make sure you check that part of it out if you're gonna get one used. But then another thing is, you know, are you willing to sell this thing off later maybe to help you pay for another? Maybe you would be the one wanting to sell it on Facebook Marketplace later. So these are all things you're gonna have to consider when you're buying a Switch right now. We could have something come out later 
that's gonna be newer. Th there's another thing that, that we're gonna be kind of up in the air about here, and that's backwards compatibility. It looks like, we don't know for sure, but it looks like whatever the new thing is, the Switch 2 is going to be able to take Switch cartridges and it's going to be backwards compatible. We do not know that for sure. So if you're someone who likes to play the newest games and just kind of wants to keep up to date with what's coming out, maybe not spend a bunch of money on a backlog for the Switch, because while I do think, I personally think we are gonna have backwards compatibility, it won't be a problem, there is a chance that you could start, you know, building a library for this thing now, and then three to six months from now, it doesn't work on the next one. I think that's a small, small possibility, but it is a possibility you just might want to think about. All right, now let's go to the other type of person here. The other type of person, let's say you just want something handheld and you don't really care about the newest Nintendo Switch games that are from Nintendo. I have to be honest, at this point, as old as the Switch is, the Switch is running on 2015 hardware. It came out in 2017. It's mobile technology that's basically dead. It's very, very old. There are several other handheld devices out there at different price range that are going to be able to play every single game this can play. Obviously not the first party Nintendo games, but all those other games, all of these are gonna be able to play every one of those games much, much better than the Switch can at this point. That would be another reason not to buy one right now. There are just better options out there and the Switch, if you are looking for a handheld experience and you kind of want a Nintendo Switch, but you're not happy with the way, you may want to wait for the next one. It looks like the next one's probably going to be a little bit more on par with what the rest of the uh, what the rest of the market is looking like right now. I mean, there's the Steam Deck. Uh, they just put out the Steam Deck OLED, which is basically the same as the Steam Deck. A little bit better performance, but it has an OLED screen. The ROG Ally is a thing. Those are very nice. And if you are somebody or you're the person you're buying this for is somebody who just wants to play handheld, and they already have a PlayStation 5, but they're looking for something else, you can get a PlayStation Portal. I have a Portal. I actually really like it. I think I'm going to do uh, possibly a video on that on the second channel soon, but I do really like it. You need pretty good internet for it to run, and it can be hit or miss at times. For the most part, I've had, I've had a really great experience with the Portal, so if they've already got a library on the PS5, that's an option as well. And other cloud options for, for people who already have game libraries. As I said, the Steam Deck. If you have a, a PC library, you're gonna be able to play that right onto the Steam Deck. With the Steam Deck, you can also play xCloud, which is going to be a streaming thing, kind of just like what the Portal does. But this is through Microsoft, so you're gonna be able to play all the games on Game Pass streaming. It works very well on the Steam Deck. I have done it. it, it's almost flawless. So there are a ton of other options out there besides the Nintendo Switch right now as far as handheld play goes. As far as budgets, yeah, the Switch, it's kind of in the middle of everything. If you're gonna get something like the Portal, that's 200 bucks, gotta have a PlayStation 5 for that. You cannot use it unless you already have a PlayStation 5. I mean, the Steam Decks are, they're three, four, five, six hundred dollars, depending on which one you get. The ROG Ally is pretty expensive. I mean, the Nintendo Switch is an affordable option if you're just looking for something quick. Get a $200 light. But just know, there are options out there. You definitely need to look into these things, especially right now, because in my opinion, unless you want to play Nintendo first party games, I would say probably any of these other things would be a better option at this point. Maybe look into those. If you decide you want to get a Switch 2 later, you can always trade in, upgrade, do what you need to do. At this point, I would say, again, unless you're going for first party Nintendo games, look around, see what else is out there, just wait. I think we're getting something better very soon. But guys, that is gonna do it for this one. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like. Uh, click on one of these videos right here. This actually might help you out too. Either this one or this one right here. Whichever one you want to watch, but uh, we'll, we'll see you in the next one, guys.